Welcome to the Aqua Aria, by far the most luxurious and unique vessel on all of the Amazon River. Now let me tell you a few features about this boat. There are 16 suites, which means the maximum amount of people you can have on here is 32, which is pretty good. There's a one-to-one -one ratio of staff to guests, so you're going to have the best quality and service. They have a paramedic on board, they have a 24-hour security, so your safety is guaranteed. They have a boutique. They have a river facing gym, they have a spa, and they have four custom designed skiffs, which means each time you go on an excursion, it's gonna be a very, very small group. But the most majestic thing about this big, beautiful boat is that by design, she kind of stands out on the Amazon River. But also because of the material she's made out of, she really blends in. Dining on board is a true luxury experience and all the food and all the produce are sourced locally but served in a real gourmet style. And all meals are included, breakfast, lunch and dinner, and they're served in this little dining room which is actually more like a five-star restaurant. And all the food, of course, is top quality like you'd find anywhere around the world. Thank you, my friend. Appreciate it. Ah, it doesn't get any fresher than this. And the irony's not lost on me. Earlier, they were trying to eat me, and now I get to eat them. As you can imagine, a big part of the culture in Peru is their food and beverage. And it's important for the people on this boat to make sure they get the top quality cuisine to all the passengers on board. So what they've done is they've brought executive chef Pedro Miguel Chefino from Lima, Peru, who actually owns two world-renowned restaurants in Lima, and brought him on board to kind of oversee the whole food program. And today, he's conducting a little private cooking class using all of the local ingredients. Let's go check it out. So, Chef Pedro just made an amazing catfish ceviche with catfish from the Amazon River and ingredients from all over Peru. There's corn, there's sweet potatoes, there's peppers, there's onions. It smells amazing. Oh, pure sure flavor. Delicious. Um, so, Chef, how did you get involved with, with Aqua Expeditions? Uh, actually, uh, Francesco, the owner, called me because I was the only uh, cook in Lima that was working with the Amazon products oh, wow. at that time, 10 years ago. So no other cook in Lima uh, worked with uh, these products before. Uh, we were the pioneers. Uh, uh, my restaurant, Malabar, was um, the first restaurant to showcase and to work with uh, the uh, Amazonian products, yeah. Amazonian ingredients and Amazonian cuisine. So when Francesco started, um, uh, he, he called me and I said, of course, and uh, really uh, Aqua helped me a lot to connect with the, with the Amazon right. because of the voyages that we make, the trips that we make, and I keep coming, uh, I come three or four times a right. year, so I, I really uh, I'm really connected to. So, so it's influenced your uh, your style of, of cooking and stuff too. A oh, bit. definitely. Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. Definitely. It's amazing how exotic we can make a dish seem. Of course, as an executive chef, by just using some very, very basic ingredients.
I don't think there's anywhere more remote or unique that you could actually have breakfast. Education is a big part of the programme on this ship and they bring in experts on a whole array of subjects and today they're talking about something that I'm really excited about, chocolate and coffee. Thank you, my friend. That was really interesting. Thank you. Thank you. And, and he just turned me into a coffee snob. Thank you.